Witness News continues covering the flu tonight. The Diocese of Providence issued important health recommendations for church services this week and this Sunday. Parishioners across the state attended Mass with these new changes in place. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North has details with the mobile newsroom in East Providence. Even at the most private places to pray, there's a reminder that the H1N1 flu preparation has made its way into almost every place. Throughout St. Brendan's Church in East Providence, even in its parish office, there's hand sanitizer to help protect parishioners. The Diocese of Providence has also asked churchgoers to go one step further during the flu season. We are asking people to refrain from exchanging signs of peace, and we are doing something that I find personally very difficult to do, uh, and that is we, are, we the priests are not shaking people's hands at the door as people leave. Just a few days ago, the Diocese of Providence sent out this letter to all Catholic churches in Rhode Island, and according to St. Brendan's pastor, Father John Unsworth, his parish is already feeling the effects of the illness. The flu has hit this particular area very hard. In our religious education program, there are many, many children out because they're sick and many of our teacher, volunteer teachers are out as well. And for those attending Mass this Sunday, they were already aware of the changes taking place and they're taking them seriously. I think it's actually a safe thing to do right now. We can um, wish each other well without necessarily having hand contact. I'm a nurse and I think good hand washing solves a lot. And the diocese also asked all parishes to pray for Victoria Souza of Bristol. Now, she had attended Catholic school in Portsmouth. She had the H1N1 virus and died last week. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.